Greetings and salutations. Uh, I'm Mr. Smith and I'd like to show you today uh, a rate of diffusion of food coloring within different temperatures of water. So what I have for you today are uh, some cold water. Uh, I've got basically ice water. In fact, I've still got a chunk of ice floating around here. I have my thermometers to check temperatures. Um, I am not quite at zero degrees Celsius, obviously, but I'm around six degrees Celsius checking my thermometers. Uh, I also have my room temperature water. My room temperature water, according to my thermometer, is actually just less than 20 degrees Celsius based on my thermometer here. Um, just about 19 degrees Celsius from what I can tell. And this was boiling all of about a minute and a half ago. Uh, and it's cooled down a little bit uh, all the way to 90 degrees Celsius, but still is fairly hot. We can see the steam coming off of it and the condensation uh, on the actual beaker itself. I'm gonna add food coloring, red, pink-ish. I'm gonna add about five drops to each one. And I want you to pay attention to how quickly they diffuse through the actual beaker. Um, so what I should see is a difference in kinetic energy. The kinetic energy goes from the smallest amount of kinetic energy to the most amount of kinetic energy uh, based on my three different temperatures here. And then the same solution. So I have about 300 mils of each, five drops of each. So I'm being consistent in my experiment here. And we're going to pay attention specifically to how quickly the rate of diffusion is going to occur with that. Now what we're looking at specifically, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. What we're looking for specifically is the fact that the kinetic energy is increasing. So the rate at which the particles are moving are changing from here to here. The particles over here are moving much faster. So what we should see is a larger distribution of the tie-dye in a much quicker manner. So the rate of diffusion. Uh, through the water should be much quicker over here than it is over here. Uh, now I have my sheets of paper. Hopefully that will allow you to distinguish the difference uh, between those because the background changes, making it more difficult, especially with a red shirt, red guy, you would not be able to see the rate of diffusion. Now what we can see here is we're actually looking at, over here we've pretty much been completely distributed. Everything looks pretty even. It looks like i got a small spot over here that's mixing really quickly. Um, I can still see that it seems to be all distributed, but I've got definitely areas in which there's more pink than red, right? So they're kind of, it's not quite even yet. It's mostly distributed, but it's not quite even yet. Over here, I've got more distinguishable. I've got some areas where I can almost see the white paper all the way through the solution as well. Um, so I've not finished my diffusion here, okay? So what this shows is simply that at a larger temperature, you have more kinetic energy, you have particles moving faster, right? The larger kinetic energy, energy due to motion, you have more motion, which means that objects are going to distribute faster in them. Okay? Now over here, if I wanted to speed this up, I could, right? There's no need there. I'm fully distributed at this point. Um, but of course, you could stir these as well, and that would give you the same results. Um, but this shows simply just based on temperature, purely based on the measurement of kinetic energy, that the rate of diffusion in something is going to be much faster in something that's hotter than something that is colder. 